Good morning. Good morning. All right, so I'm just going to jump on into today uh, what we're talking about. We're still going over some of the systems that I've been speaking about this whole week, and I have a bundle deal that you can get right now. It's five videos and an ebook. The link to that, it's called The Reset. You can get that in the uh, in this description of this, this video. And um, today we're talking about how to manifest greatness, and this is done through the system of value. And this is one of the most important or fundamental systems um, of all of the ones that I've been talking about so far. And before I get into that, I kind of want to give you a background of what my dreams have actually been looking like. I continue to have these dreams even now, but I just want to kind of give you uh, what they appear to me as. When I fall asleep, even as I'm falling asleep, I'm aware that I'm entering into my dream and I'm aware that I'm entering into the spirit. I'm, I'm, I'm going into another dimension, another realm, another complete realm. Um, and there's various dimensions within that realm. And when I first started to have this, I couldn't see anything except these light um, strands. These are not strands that carry light they are light and I could only see that I was going to go explore you know some of these strands and how they connect and how they intertangle and as I continued to dream um, I started to be able to see that there is no distance you know in the spirit world there's no distance there's also no time and one of the things that I saw was that um, these were all smaller parts of a larger whole and eventually I was given insight into what I was seeing and all of these light strands were connecting and making a body. Um, I actually could see the face um, of this body and uh, the, the face would, would change. It would be happy, it would be sad, it would be angry and there's more revelation about what was given to me in that uh, that I can talk about a different time. but. This is why it's so important to understand the systems and how connected that we are. We are all operating in these systems and we are all interconnected as a body. And this is actually how it presents itself in the spirit world. So just as a person who's gotten injured on their leg, for example, and if, if it's bleeding or something, it needs attention, you wouldn't walk around just saying like, I'm okay, I'm fine, there's nothing going on here. You would ask for help because you, you, need, you need to give attention to that part of your body. So in the spirit, we are all connected, we are all one, we are all the body. And so this is why if one area is injured, if there's something going on in one area, we cannot pretend that that isn't there. And more so than just being like a certain sect or a certain group of people, I saw that this was actually the beliefs that they were engaged in, these systems you know, the, the body should be made up of the ways of the Lord. It should actually be a representation of heaven on earth. And I saw that what was happening was these dark places where no light was able to penetrate was actually these areas where these false systems or counterfeit systems that I spoke about yesterday uh, were, were set in. And that once these things were removed, light would be able to flow freely through there. And there's a lot more about that dream but I think it's really important that people understand the way that things function in the spirit world and look for ways that you can see that present in the natural world so for example um, you know quantum mechanics tells us that you can be two places at once and you can be both a wave and a particle so you can be both solid matter and uh, vapor Right, and so how is that possible? And there's all of these different types of mysteries that are revealed uh, through the natural world because everything that is in the natural was made from the things that are unseen, right? The things that are invisible made everything that is visible. And so if you understand the way that the body works, <laughs> you'll understand like why it's so necessary to reveal these systems that people are hooked up with and you can start with your own self, making sure that you yourself are connected to the correct systems and that you are literally walking in the ways of the Lord. You are mirroring the ways of the Lord that is done in heaven. And um, on Monday, I'm going to do uh, one more live about this topic. Um, 
to celebrate the launch of the reset, the official launch, because right now it's just on pre-order. But um, in that in that video, I'm going to talk about the system of the mind of Christ, and this is an actual system. And the more that we think like Jesus, the more that we think like Him, the greater results we're going to see in this earth. And um, and this has to do with the transforming of the mind, and I'm going to speak more about that on Monday. But today I want to talk about the system of value, and I hope that you understanding the way that these dreams have been coming to me will give you um, a better understanding of why your own, why you being flooded with light is so important because it impacts everybody, literally, that you're connected to, even people that you think um, don't, you know, you're not that connected to. You're, you're very much uh, influencing what happens with them and what they end up going on to do and and that in turn comes back to you um, just really quickly on on that point too what we behold is what we become and what the Lord is looking for is is a bride who is able to mirror him in his glory in his ways in his beliefs you know in the things that he values um, and it the, the word actually says that our righteousness is as filthy rags, right? We need the righteousness of Jesus to do anything um, worth, to even be coming into the presence of God. We have to put on the robe of righteousness that, um, that Jesus paid the ultimate purchase for, price for us. And understanding that we can do nothing in our own strength, but what we can do is continuously die to our own selves, pick up our cross, and become more hooked up to the systems of the Lord, and walk ever more in His ways. And that's really key. That's really important. And there's more about that, you know, again, in the reset itself. So moving on to the system of value. Um, there, there is, uh, again, as I spoke about yesterday, there's a counterfeit system to every other system. You know, there's a way that appears right to a man, and yet the Lord judges the ways. That's what the word says, and this is why, because it appears so um, closely to the real thing that it, unless you have are walking in the spirit of wisdom and in true surrender, which again, as I spoke about on uh, Wednesday, is actually the system of authority, you're not going to be able to identify what's real and what's the counterfeit and there's a counterfeit to value value is the true system um it it there the value system actually goes about the way that you let me start with the counterfeit actually the counterfeit to value is uh is corruption and sometimes we think about corruption as like oh that's corrupt that's corrupt or whatever but it's actually a system that people are um um, operating within. If you find corruption somewhere, it's because there's something in them that has been hooked up to this system. So that, that's actually a value system. Something that they value is the ability to be corrupt or to corrupt something else or somebody else. And um, and again, understanding these roots is really going to help you kind of untangle all of those places in your own self that maybe no light can get through right now. So um, I want to start off by talking about value. And value is not in gifts. Gifts are actually people. People are the gifts. The gifts are not like your talents. Talents are something else. Talents involve your skill set. They involve the things that you are willing to sow time into, into sowing um, excellence and uh, energy into perfecting, into um, uh, continuing to enhance that. Gifts are actually people the word says that he gave some as gifts to the churches. And then what are those gifts? Some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be teachers and evangelists, right? And some to be preachers. And so we must understand that the, the people are gifts. And if you don't value the person, you're going to miss the system of value completely. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that with a story from the word. Moses is holding up the rod. And if you um, have read a lot about Moses, you know that that rod was super important to other things that he had been doing up until this point. And whenever he would lower his hands, the Israelites would start to lose. But whenever he would lift up his hands with the rod in them, right, the, the Israelites would start winning. Moses starts to get tired. And so he has Aaron and Hurt who are able to come alongside and hold up his arms with the rod in his hands. Why didn't they just take the stick? Why didn't they just take the rod out of Moses' hands and hold it up themselves? 
because Moses was the system of value. He was the appointed leader that the Lord was recognizing to implement the system of value throughout the entire population. And there are still people who operate in this role today. If they would have taken the stick out of his hands, they would nothing would have happened. You understand that? It was Moses, it wasn't the stick. It was That was a mode of implementing the system of value. There are people who hold within themselves these systems. There are people who still are the designated authority in the spirit realm who can either allow or deny something to happen. And it's very important that we understand that concept because you can go about dishonoring somebody. You honor what's in their hands, but you dishonor that person. You've dishonored the entire thing. You're not going to be able to draw anything from that person or the system that they carry because you're missing the entire point. The gift is the person. It is the actual vessel that the Lord has chosen to pour out in that is being used as a, a, a connection point between the earth and heaven. And so if we don't understand that, we're going to miss out on a lot of blessings that could come to us simply by being in connection with that person. You see, when, when, when Moses did something, all of the Israelites benefited. And when he didn't do something, all of the Israelites suffered. And the same, there are still these systems that are set up in place so I talk about more about that in the actual reset if you're interested. So I want to move on. Again, talents are skills and talents depend need your participation in order to develop. You need to actually pull these things out of you. So you might have a natural inclination to be like musically inclined, for example. You can tell beats very easily, you can read music maybe, but that's still going to de require dedication intention, time, and energy to be sown on your part to developing yourself into a skilled musician. Musician, You're likely not going to just wake up one day and be able to play um, instruments perfectly. And there's, that's widely understood. That part of it is widely understood, right? We have no debate about that in the, whether you're a believer in the Lord or not. It, it, I mean, everybody understands like you get better at time the more that you do things. The system of value, have a, however, um, again, there's a system that very closely matches it. As I told you before, it's a counterfeit of corruption, system of corruption. The system of value, you can tell if somebody's operating in it because it depends on their closeness, how close they sit to Jesus. How close they actually are to Jesus will impact their value because it will impact their excellence. And yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, I, I told the story about how Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to him, but Martha was distracted, right, with much serving. She was doing something that she viewed as being productive, as being worthwhile, and she was angry at Mary, who was sitting at the feet of Jesus, who was doing seemingly nothing. However, in this system, the system of value, the closeness to Jesus, how close you are to sitting to him is actually what's considered valuable, right? What was Jesus's response to Martha? He said, she has chosen the better thing. She has chosen something better. And, and because in the spirit world, again, nothing is hidden. You cannot, you can fool people with your words. You can fool people even with your actions when you're around them for a certain amount of time, right? But eventually everything is brought to light and that's because it was already seen in the spirit world. Everything there is unveiled and you cannot tell people that you spend a lot of time with the Lord if you don't actually because you're the, that's that's giving a legal right an entry point for the spirit of corruption you know this system to manifest itself throughout your life and showing the other ways that you have corrupted you know the things that you haven't actually valued are going to be brought into the light because you you're actually not partnering with the system of value you're partnering with the counterfeit the counterfeit um, system of corruption. Again, because nothing is un, un, everything is open in the spirit. So your system of value and the more that you hook up with this, the more time that you value being in the presence of Jesus, the more that you die to your yourself and you give up your will again, operating within the system of surrender, it actually builds your authority in the spirit realm. So you will have more authority within the system of value. Again, Moses was the chosen um, representative in the spirit world. And so what he did had much higher consequences 
than what the regular Israelites did. So it was really on his shoulders what would happen to everybody else. They either received blessings or they didn't, right? And even when his own sister and brother started speaking against him and they were um, wondering why he was the one who was exalted, what happened? They were, Miriam was struck with leprosy and it wasn't until Moses prayed for her and interceded for her that the Lord said she has to be put outside the camp for seven days and then I'll heal her. You know, it was his prayer of intercession that was the thing that brought about the redemption cycle, that there was another system that could implement itself for her because of his words. Another story in the New Testament, King Herod is sitting on his throne and all of the people are worshiping him. Basically, they're saying he is a God among us. He isn't even a man. And because he didn't give glory to God, what happened? Worms came and eat him immediately. They came and eat him immediately. And uh, it's because in the system, in the spirit world, he was hooked up so closely with the spirit of corruption. It was so permeated throughout him that his words and his actions carried a much higher level of consequences. You see that authority and consequences always match and so when you grow in authority you're also going to grow in, in the um, amount of legal consequences that can come to you they hold a, your words will hold a higher weight so do your actions everything that you do as you grow in these different levels as you increase in the spirit world as you get promoted you also carry a much higher level of discipline of consequences that come to you should you make a mistake? Should you uh, try to take the glory for yourselves and get, you know, using the systems just to get to a certain place? Which again, I've spoken about throughout this entire, uh, these lives that I've been doing this past week, which is that you have to know what's in your own heart. You have to be able to monitor and accurately state what the condition of your own soil is. What is the condition of your soil in your heart? So the as I've been saying that this is also true is that when you are hooked up with the system of value the true system then you will increase in authority in your sphere of influence again this has to do with this with the system of excellence and that is mainly not about how well you do something I saw that it was um it was not how good you were at a certain thing or how you know how great you were in a certain arena what it actually was was the closeness to Jesus because when you're next to him everything that you do will be excellent everything about him will start permeating permeating every area of your life and that is actually what's going to bring you true influence and I spoke about influence I believe it was on Thursday and um, influence the system of influence is different than the system of popularity and true influence will allow you to influence the things that influence so you you will influence the influence and again I speak more about this in the in the actual reset but I just want to let you know um, that that true leaders ones who are walking in, and partnering completely with the system of value who who truly operate in the system of excellence because they are so close to Jesus those are going to be the true leaders and more and more I, I believe that we are going to see the true leaders just arise we are going to see the people who have been designated who have you know paid the price who understand the consequences and the weight that is being put on them with that comes along with greatness and uh, uh, there's going to be a sharper divide between those who have been having the appearance of godliness those who have been having the appearance of righteousness but who actually inside are just whitewashed tombs um, one of the best quotes that I've ever heard about being a leader is that if you're a leader if you deem yourself to be a leader but you don't have any followers then you're just a man out taking a walk and that's so true because if I can if I'm not leading you to show you how to replicate my results in a certain area then I'm really just making the whole thing about me like I'm just getting the fame the followers the likes whatever about me it actually isn't 
pouring into something else. I'm becoming a lake and not a river. Nothing is coming in and nothing is going out. And again, that's the counterfeit system of corruption. And I'm not actually walking in true value because uh, somebody who understands value will always be able to pull out that value in other people. They'll always be able to get other people to see their true value and, and operate in it themselves so that they can continue to re reproduce others of that kind. So again, if I'm a leader, I'm making you into a leader, which in turn means you're going to make somebody else into a leader. And all of this has to do with value. Again, this system of value is, is understanding gifts, which are people, talents, which are skills, the system of excellence, which is how close you sit to the feet of Jesus, and understanding true influence through that system. All of the systems combined together. Uh, again, in your body, in your natural body, you couldn't just try to pick out like one vein. You wouldn't be able to do that because it your whole body needs that vein. And the same is true in the spirit world. You cannot just say like, well, I've gotten, you know, for example, just like throwing out random numbers, like nine out of 10 of the systems. Like you still need that 10th one. And this is why understanding all of these systems is so important in order to have a fully functioning, healthy body, and not only for individuals, but ultimately for the ultimate purpose of the Lord, which is to have the earth filled up with his glory and to have a bride that matches him in, in worthiness and righteousness, um, who can be a carrier of that glory, you know, who can dwell, truly dwell, live forever in that place, the most holy place. And, and be able to withstand, you know, the glory is weighty and, and you need to be at a certain level in order to live in underneath that kind of pressure, underneath that kind of um, heaviness um, that comes with the glory. And so, um, yeah, when you understand value and that you are valuable, like you embody the system a valuable of a value you are valuable um, because you carry that system that's when you will be great and 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 in in terms of like biblical greatness right that you you are going to be able to walk uh, with the Lord all of your days in in righteousness and not only that but to to be able to lead other people to do the same to be able to replicate the same results that you've gotten um, continuously so I hope that this helps you understand the system of value. And um, again, there's more, a lot more on this in the um, reset, the ebook, and the videos that go along with this um, topic, the system of value. I think it's called Manifesting Your Greatness. I believe that's what I named that chapter in the ebook. Um, but yeah, so if you want to pre order, I put the link in this description of this video. And uh, Today and tomorrow are going to be the last days to pre-order. The actual package will be sent out automatically. If you've already pre-ordered it, it will be sent out automatically on Monday, um, the 20th, which it will be the official launch of the reset. And so on that day, the price is going to increase to $25 instead of $19, which it is now. And, um, and on Monday as well, I'll be doing another video, one final video talking about these systems um, that that are in this package at least. There's many more systems that are not mentioned in this ebook. I am writing a, a full book on all, on all of these systems and uh, I wanted to get some feedback um, from you guys first before uh, you know moving forward and, and uh, trying to finalize that book. So please if you've ordered it give me your feedback. I'm very much appreciative of it. And um, all right, so I will see you on Monday. Have a great Saturday and a good s Sunday. And I will see you again Monday at 9 a.m. to talk about the system of the mind of Christ.